chance against us, Mr. Cowboy. Yippee ki motherfucker. What's up, guys? Welcome to another pixel art tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to draw your very own John McClane character from Die Hard. So, first of all, as usual, uh, I'm going to create a new file and this time we'll be using 16 by 16 pixels uh, dimension for the canvas and as usual resolution should be 72 pixel inch, RGB color, uh, yeah, that's all good. Here we go, we have our really small uh, 16 by 16 pixels uh, canvas. And again, as usual, we will just add a neutral background color to it. Uh, maybe a little bit darker, something like this. Here we go. And uh, we create also a, a new layer for our John McClane. Let's name the layer. It's always a good practice to do that. I'll call it just John. All right. So now we take our uh, pencil tool. Um, if you have brush tool there, you just click and hold uh, until you have like a menu here and choose pencil tool. Make sure it's set to one pixel here. Uh, and here we go, we can start drawing. Uh, so with our pencil tool, let's start to draw his head. Uh, let's take uh, like a kind of a skin color here. so somewhere around between like red and yellow and let's desaturate it a little bit i think this is all right and let's start to draw like a square this will be his forehead okay cool uh, we can then draw uh, like a shadow here uh, i will be doing it like in this kind of voxel style uh, so it will be really like cubical and cute uh, so let's just choose like a darker color of the same hue uh, okay there is not much contrast there so probably I need to choose a darker color something like that okay it's really important to have some contrast between colors in pixel art okay we have his forehead uh, so I would continue with some eyebrows so I would go for something like brown something like that uh, and yeah let's just create eyebrows here we go um, what I would do now is maybe the ear I would just uh, pick uh, we can actually press alt on our keyboard if you're on the Windows machine and pick this color and just create his ear something along those lines and as we have like light uh, going from here because we have the light part here and the shadow here we can actually pick this color now and do this okay so now it looks like uh, you know he has an ear um, what else so let's continue with the nose maybe so I would put like a shadow here uh, just so we can see the eyes a little bit better and I would do uh, no let's do something like this let's create his nose a little bit lower um, I would maybe put some shadow here as well uh, now let's go for the eyes let's choose uh, kind of like a white color here and put a few pixels here so in order to show a little bit better the eyes, uh, I would go for some kind of uh, uh, red color, pink red color here. So we do the red part of the eye, uh, which will be very, very visible if we scale, scale it down. So here we go. Okay, we can see the eyes, we can see the nose, it starts to take shape. That looks cool. Uh, so John McClane has some like a, a, a little a little beard. Uh, so I would choose this color to do that and go for somewhere on the blue greenish scale and make it a little bit more gray. I think that's okay. If that's not okay, we will actually adjust it later. And let's start drawing it, something like this. I think that's too bright, so I would go a little bit lower here. 
Let's try this. Okay, that looks cool. And let's create its shadow as well, because, you know, we have this kind of a cube there. So uh, I would do that for the beard as well. Same thing, we just uh, keep the same hue, but, you know, uh, just use a darker color of it. Again, more contrast, it's always helpful. Okay, something like this, and we can actually finish it here. All right, that starts to look like a head. Um, I would actually add a shadow here as well, because, you know, we have the nose there, it will create a nice effect. Okay, cool, that looks nice. Uh, I would move the whole thing a little bit to the right. Uh, nice. Um, I think we don't need the mouth for this character. We have already uh, enough details on his face to understand uh, the uh, face features of the character. So uh, I would start to draw his hair now. Okay, I would go for somewhere here and start to choose some kind of a brown color mixed with a little bit of red. Uh, oh, actually I have the eyebrows so I can just pick this color. Oh, cool. And let's start draw something like this. He does have some hair on top, so I would just continue like this. Cool, that looks nice. I would also create some, uh, you know, the same thing we did with the head, you have the lighter part and the darker part, I would do the same thing for the uh, for the hair as well. So I would pick this color and choose a lighter version of it, and I'd be a little bit more saturated. And do this. Cool. Oh, my phone. Alright. Um, I think that looks alright, uh, so we can continue with the body. Uh, I would start with the arm, so I would take this color and create like a little, uh, you know, square here, something like this. Again, we need uh, to create this uh, kind of 3D uh, sort of effect, so uh, like a voxel effect. So I would pick this color again and just draw a line here. Uh, I think his arms are a bit too... Uh, uh, too big, so I would actually need to cancel a little bit here. So to uh, delete uh, a few pixels, we just take a razor tool and make sure the mode is set to pencil and the size is one pixel. Cool, we have uh, our pixel eraser tool and we can erase some pixels here. Cool, uh, I like how it looks for now. And he has actually this kind of shirt here, um, a white shirt usually, in the first movie at least. Uh, really dirty, with blood and everything, so I would choose kind of white, but not completely white color. Somewhere here, with a kind of a blue hue, uh, and start to draw it. Okay, that seems alright. Uh, Okay, we should see the other part here of the ear and the arm, so uh, it will be a more correct in perspective, so I draw another ear here and a little bit of the arm here. Uh, maybe we should do the ears a little bit longer, let's see how that looks. No, that's too much, that's too much. Ctrl Z to go back, uh, I think that's okay. Cool. Um, a little bit of the chest here. We just pick this uh, color of uh, of the skin. Does that work? Yeah, I think that works. And again, we need to create a, a little bit of a darker color uh, here uh, on the on the shirt. So we pick this bright color. Go a little bit down, not too much, enough to create some contrast. We actually can pick this color and just do it here. I think that's kind of okay. I would actually reduce this uh, this part by one pixel because I think in the preview it looks a bit weird. So something like this. I think I like it. Uh, cool, that's nice. Uh, and now we need to create the legs. Okay, let's start creating the legs. I choose here like this dark color here. 
uh, let's start to create like a, you know just a square here uh, I think that's a little bit too bright but that could be the bright part of the uh, of the trousers so I choose a dark darker color here now cool and just do this and do this I think that looks nice uh, yeah I would leave it like that actually uh, it starts to look like a little dude, uh, but you know, we need a few more details to actually make him look like John McClane. So we have a picture of him here, uh, so what are the details we can add to our character to make him look more like John McClane? So, of course, he has a lot of dirt here, blood and things like that, some sc scars here. And we have the uh, like a holster here, so we can try to add those details, and I think that will help to make him look more like uh, the character we are trying to create. So let's go back to our character and try to do that. Uh, so I would start with holster. So just take this color, and we can add a few lines here. Okay, cool. And uh, let's try to add some some blood here and there, some dirt as well. Let's just pick this kind of uh, red pink color and add a few pixels, maybe one here, one here. Okay, that starts to look nice. And let's add maybe like uh, something here. So I hope this was fun, helpful. And here you go, you have your, uh, your own John McLean pixel art cute character. Uh, so in the next video, I think we will start to animate this character. Uh, like a simple idle animation and uh, like a run animation uh, so please uh, stay tuned and uh, for more videos please subscribe uh, visit my channel uh, follow me on Twitter and Discord and see you soon